So the other day driving with FSD 13.2.9 on my brand new 2026 Tesla Model Y with of course hardware for the latest hardware, I had a really cool experience. Pulling up to a small toll booth to get into the park, we had to pay first before we could enter the park, get the little sticker, you know, get our change or whatever, and the car seemed to handle it perfectly. Check out the clip. Hello. Hello. Have a good day. Yeah. What's your zip code? It's still FSD. Great, thank you. What the heck? Now, once the woman at the toll booth said have a good day and I said thank you, FSD started to pull away, like in sync with me saying thank you. It very slowly moved forward. I did move my foot over to the accelerator because again, I did not think FSD would be able to handle this. But if you watch the clip, you can see the car starts moving before my foot has moved over to the accelerator. I did nothing in this entire interaction and I was pretty blown away. I was very surprised that this worked. So of course, with these types of clips, what I did is I posted it to X. I said, yo, check this out, everybody. Here's a cool clip of FSD doing something interesting. And it got reposted by Elon Musk and by Tesla and by Tesla AI, lots of different accounts. But the best part, because I didn't know if this was just a coincidence or it actually had this ability or what was going on, the best part of all this attention is that Ashok, who is leading AI at Tesla, responded with an explanation saying that this is something the car is capable of handling. He said it can see the transaction happening using the repeater and pillar cameras, hence FSD proceeds on its own when the transaction is complete. Now that is pretty crazy and pretty mind blowing. And I was very excited. What a cool moment. Not even something we knew FSD could do. FSD has not received a software update in many, many months, Tesla has been focusing on RoboTaxi, but this reminded me of something. And maybe if you've been watching for a while, you'll remember this. I had a video long ago where FSD, this was many versions ago, a different car and everything, uh, but FSD went to stop for a pedestrian that looked like they were gonna cross the street. Now they were not at a crosswalk, and so they technically weren't supposed to you know, jump in front of us, but FSD is very cautious and it slowed to a stop for this pedestrian. Well, as it stopped, the pedestrian waved us ahead saying like, nah, go ahead, I'm gonna you know, walk the street after you pass me. And in this scenario, seemingly in response to the person waving us ahead, FSD slowly proceeded to go. And I got very excited because I said, whoa, it looks like FSD responded to that person waving us ahead. Is this an ability that FSD has? <laughs> now, I didn't say for sure that it had that ability or something FSD could handle because I didn't know. But the timing of the hand wave and FSD proceeding right as they waved their hand was very close. And so it seemed as if the car was responding to their hand wave. Well, I posted that to X as I post lots of different clips over there of FSD doing things. And the official Tesla account actually quote posted it saying, you know, FSD has this ability. I don't remember it was a while ago. I'll try to find the picture um, and post it here. But basically the official Tesla account said something about FSD being smart, reacting to pedestrians or hand signals or something along those lines. Now it's different because the official Tesla account seems to be more of like, you know, a PR kind of thing or like, hey, check out our stuff. This wasn't the actual head of FSD or autopilot or AI at Tesla giving us a concrete explanation. It was just kind of like, hey, check out this cool moment. The cars can do this thing. So after this, there was a lot of speculation all over uh, Twitter or X about whether FSD can respond to hand signals or whatever. Everybody was trying things. So me and Stephanie went out and we made an entire video testing if FSD could respond to hand signals using Stephanie as a pedestrian. And I was uh, driving FSD and seeing if it would respond to her waving us along or whatever. And long story short, it turns out it did not seem FSD could actually respond to the hand signals very well. There were a few, you know, of course that looked okay. Uh, but other people and myself and Stephanie included kind of found like it doesn't really respond to hand signals. So I don't know if this was like a mistake on Tesla's part or what's going on. So fast forward to today where we have this much more complex interaction that was much more difficult to like get lucky with because there were so many steps in the transaction and handing the money over, getting money back, you know, with a little sticker uh, saying, have a good day, taking off at the correct time. Uh, this seemed like, okay, this is probably something the cars can are capable of on top of the actual head or lead of AI at Tesla explaining why this works and how it works. So 
I had to go test it though, <laughs> because who knows, you know, exactly how well this works or how reliable it's going to be. Now, before we get back to the park and the toll booth, there were some other scenarios that people were testing online that I also wanted to try out that were similar, like drive throughs So I went and tried some drive throughs Now, this is relying on the cameras on the outside of the Tesla, supposedly looking at what is going on. And the other thing that those cameras on the outside of your Tesla do is they keep your Tesla safe with sentry mode. But I can make your sentry mode even better with the app sentry. Sentry Pro. Sentry mode on our Tesla vehicles is awesome, but it only gives you an alert after something happens or the alarm is set off. But with today's sponsor, Sentry Pro, you can set it up fully customizable so that you will get alerts as soon as Sentry mode is triggered. If someone is creeping around your car, you will get a notification before they even interact with your vehicle. Sentry Pro sends real-time notifications the instant Sentry mode triggers, a feature Tesla fans have been asking for for a long time. Sentry Pro is an official Tesla partner using the official Tesla API, so it is fully secure and safe. Sentry Pro is focused on privacy, boasts top customer satisfaction, and gets constant updates, making the app better all the time, just like our Teslas. It works on all Tesla models, and you don't even need premium connectivity to use this app. Use my link below to download Sentry Pro absolutely free. For their two-year anniversary, Sentry Pro is offering 40% off, but it's ending soon, so make sure to click that link down below. I have already heard from many of you that are using Sentry Pro, and you are very satisfied. Sentry Pro also has tons of great great reviews, so make sure you read those from third-party sources as well. I definitely suggest you give it a try for free. Use that link down below. Thank you so much to Century Pro for sponsoring this video. Now, pulling up to our first challenge here, I put in McDonald's just to see how FSD would handle the drive through So to my surprise, we went straight into McDonald's and we pulled into the drive through line. I wouldn't even blame FSD for parking somewhere or not going in the drive through line because there's no way to tell it exactly what we're doing, uh, but it did happen to just take us directly into the first drive through line. Now, technically, it could have made a better decision here by going into the second line where there were less vehicles, but no big deal. Getting to this position at all, I was still pretty impressed. Now, we did have to wait for a while, but FSD seemed pretty patient, and it pulled forward every time it was able to do so. Older versions of FSD, when you would kind of sit for a long time and wait, they seemed to kind of get stuck, so you could pull forward, but even when the car in front of you fully pulled away, FSD just wouldn't move until you hit the accelerator pedal, so it does seem to be getting better at navigating different stranger scenarios. Now, as we begun to pull up to the speaker, I did think it was going to go a little too far, so I was ready to hit the brake, but just a little bit past the speaker, even though there was plenty of room in front of me to continue pulling forward, FSD stopped and I was able to make my order. Now, I kind of thought there might be something to rolling up or down the window here, so once my order was complete, I did roll up my window, and just within a second or two, FSD started to pull forward. There wasn't any extra room, it's not like someone was in my way, and then they moved and FSD moved with them. There was a gap there ready to be filled and FSD didn't move until I started to roll up my window. Now, at this point, I was very impressed. We were moving forward. FSD almost seemed to show a little bit of assertiveness here, showing that it knew it needed to get out of here and take its turn. And as that white gas car in front of us started to move forward, FSD moved in sync with it, almost as if to say, hey, I know I'm next in line here. Don't cut me off. I'm going to pull out when it's my turn. Now, at this point, I am pretty impressed. There are enough vehicles around that maybe they're kind of keeping us in our place for me to do what I need to do long enough. But at the same time, there were big gaps in front of us that earlier in this little drive through experiment, FSD was closing those gaps. And now we are waiting for what we need to do and then asserting ourselves when we don't need to be doing anything like talking into the speaker. But here, unfortunately, is where the experiment fails. We go up to the first window to pay and it seems like FSD is gonna drive right by. So even though I had the window down, I kind of was ready there with my credit card to hand it to the person. Uh, FSD was just going to blow right by that window and was not going to let me pay. So in this scenario, at least, it didn't know what to do in this drive through I tried to give it another chance in the next window. I turned FSD back on, but again, unfortunately, it was just going to blow right past that window. So I had to take over so that I could get my food. But I couldn't leave it at that. I had to try one more time in the same area just to see if it could do any better or behave differently. And the second time, to my surprise, the lineup with the drive through speaker was actually perfect. FSD seemed to pull up perfectly to the speaker and not pull forward, even though there was still a little bit of a gap ahead of us. Now, unfortunately, once the white pickup truck in front of us started to drive away, FSD decided it was time to go. It didn't care that I was still talking and making my order, so I had to hit the brake here again. Now, along with that, it seems like the problems continue to pile upon themselves 
themselves, and FSD is not assertive enough in this next run to make it out without getting cut off, and I actually, for the next car, had to press the accelerator because people were just going to keep taking our spot even though we were supposed to be next in line. Now, as this blue truck pulled up, it was pretty obvious that it was my turn to enter the line, but I did notice he had a warning, I have a problem with liberal sticker on the back of his truck, so he probably saw the Tesla and got very angry, and he really needed his McDonald's to make himself feel better. You're back again. Yes, I did come back a second time, and unfortunately, both of these drive through windows, again, did not work. So we can see FSC is not working in the drive through not really a surprise to me. I didn't think it would work, but I had to try it because this is very similar to the toll booth scenario if the cameras are kind of seeing a transaction. But we couldn't stop there. What if a different drive through setup was actually better for FSD and it could handle a different drive through? So we headed over to Wendy's and FSD initially parked us pretty nicely, but in a handicap spot. I'll give it a point there. It doesn't know if I have a handicap pass or not. And it did park us very nicely in that spot. And again, there's no way to say like, hey, I'm going through the drive through here. So I will give it a point for parking us at our destination. And this is where the fun ended because I did have to direct it to the speaker to make my order. Again, there's no way to tell FSD that I want to go through a drive through so I don't really care that I had to line it up with the speaker. But as we approached the speaker, the car was just going to drive past it and I didn't want to buy anything else. So I just ended up taking off from there because obviously this experiment isn't working. Now heading back to the toll booth. Last time it was perfect. I just couldn't believe how well it lined up with have a good day, thank you, rolling up the window, taking off. And so I had to try it again. So on this attempt, I took my wife's 2023 Model Y that also has hardware 4, but she has the yearly pass in the windshield now. So we do need to stop at the booth so they can scan the barcode that is on the windshield, but I don't need to pay, I don't need to get change or get my credit card back or anything. And FSD again seemed to handle this really well. It slowly pulls up to the toll booth, stops a little bit too far, but it does stop where it needs to stop. The barcode is scanned and as the attendant backs away from the vehicle, FSD then slowly pulls forward. So another success on this run. Now back into my 2026 Tesla Model Y where I actually have to give money or a credit card. We go to pull up to the toll booth. It does a beautiful stop right exactly where it's supposed to. And I start to talk to the toll booth attendant and then FSD decides, all right, that's enough of that and starts to take off. So I did have to hit the brake and it was not able to successfully stop and wait for me this attempt. But we can't leave it at that. So so I went back and I tried it again. This is actually on a different day. I'm trying to just try a bunch of different scenarios here and we make a perfect stop again. So at least part of this interaction with a toll booth is working really well. The car is able to very safely pull up to the toll booth, stop pretty much exactly where it needs to and wait at least for a second. So I told the toll booth attendant, I don't actually want to come to the park. I don't want to pay. Uh, I'm just going to turn around, but I'm testing my self-driving car. He seemed to think that was pretty interesting. So he helped me with the experiment by taking my credit card, handing it back. He actually even stepped away into the booth because FST didn't seem to want to leave. It pulled up to the booth nicely, and when I said thank you and we were done with the transaction, the car just sat there. And again, how is it going to know exactly when we're done with the transaction? I handed him my credit card and got it back. Maybe there's something else I need to do. At this point, FST just continued to wait. He offered to move back, actually, and sit down, so he moved away from the car. I then rolled up my window, and FST just did not want to move. Now, it could have been because of these workers who were nearby. The utility van right there was kind of throwing the car off off, uh, but unfortunately FSD sat there and did not move. Now I gotta say, this is the behavior I would actually want out of FSD. I would like for it to go to the toll booth and stop. When it's not moving, I can then confirm either on the screen or at the accelerator pedal, like, okay, transaction's done, go ahead and take us. So that is what I did. I touched the accelerator pedal for just a second and then the car did continue to drive. So what does this all mean? I'm here to give you information and share my experiences and facts with you. So I will let you make your own conclusions uh, down in the comment section. I will give you my opinion though. <laughs> my opinion is that there is some inkling of ability there. It's just not fully baked at this point. Um, and I would encourage other people to check this out and see uh, what they're experiencing. I did watch several videos on X where people were, there's a lot of military uh, people who own Teslas. <laughs> people were going um, to their military bases, able to hand their ID. They were actually showing that their Teslas were pulling up to the window and, and moving over a little bit, getting them closer to the window. Um, they were able to hand their ID, get it back, and then continue driving all without doing anything. FSD was fully handling that. At the same time, other people were posting that exact same scenario and it was not working for them. So this does seem like an ability that Tesla's full self-driving software does possess, but maybe it's not fully baked and it doesn't get it right every time. Kind of like in the past, how it wouldn't get roundabouts right every time, just maybe like 20% of the time. 